Thank you for tuning in on YouTube for this live stream of the international walking football match between England and Guernsey. We have the men's teams. It's Friday the 1st of November. We're at the 3G pitch at KG5 in Guernsey. What you see here on YouTube is the men's teams. We have England over age 70. And for Guernsey, we have a mix of players primarily over the age of 60. And we want to say thank you to the principal sponsor, The Taste of India. If you're just now tuning in on YouTube for this live stream, we want to recognize the referees, Paul Carr from the UK Walking Football Association and Andy Bisson with the Guernsey Work Walking Football Club. Just getting ready to start, referee Paul Carr, referee Andrew, Andy Bisson. And we'll recognize for Guernsey men, we have coach Paul Wheatley, for England, coach Gareth Lewis. Key here is moving the ball around, lots of triangle formations. For Red England, we have the age 70 plus men's team. And Guernsey with a mixed age level in the 60s. And you saw there players stepping into the goalkeeper area and having to step back out to avoid a foul. A little rain increasing here, and I want to acknowledge the players on the Guernsey side. We have Paul Wakefield, Francis Russell, Paul Wheatley, Paul Rogers, Tony Pickford, Martin Mitchell, Steve Falez, Phil Thacker, Derek Smith, and Steve Potter. And on the England side, we have Dave Seddon, Terry Fletcher, Keith Mortimer, Alan Brown, Alan Ogden, Keith Harris, Mike Dore, Neil Willets, and Johnny Malloy. England taking a shot on goal there, stopped by the Guernsey goalkeeper. And we're still in the first half of this match. Something you want to keep in mind is making sure referees are well trained to start your program. Looking at it as a, an opportunity for both new players and also ex-pros, ex-vets, more elite level who may have had to step away due to injury. No goals scored yet in this match. Got a lot of offense, a lot of shots off by England, and there we go. 1-0 England. And one by Guernsey. Quick movement to a tie. If you're just now joining us on YouTube, this live stream is at the 3G pitch at KG5 in Guernsey, the Walking Football Home Internationals. Second goal by England, and we have one for Guernsey. There's a foul, as we just spoke about, with the height of the ball. Guernsey in the yellow bibs. England in red. If you're joining us on YouTube at the live stream, it's the 1st of November, Friday night in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. We have the men's England national age 70 and older team of walking football playing against the national Guernsey team with a mixed age group in their 60s. This is just due to player availability here. We're at the 3G pitch at KG5 in Guernsey. We want to say thank you to the staff, 
players, family, coaching, all members of the community who have supported this event. Primary sponsor is the Taste of India. If you're watching from home, you can appreciate not being in this weather at the moment. This is Brandy Mitchell with San Diego Soccer Women. Rain is almost completely unfamiliar to me based in San Diego, California. But here I am. I do have the benefit of a tarp to cover me, but these players are fully exposed to the wind and the rain. Still trying to keep control of the ball on this 3G pitch. Making sure to keep their speed under a run. The no running policy in walking football is subject to penalty. It's up to players to define their own style that stays within the policies of walking football. This is the second match of the evening with the women's England and Guernsey teams having played before this. They also had a 6v6 format, 25 minute halves. Holding true to the regulations of walking football. And that's game. Thank you for tuning in to the Walking Football Home Internationals between Guernsey and England. Just completed with a win by England. It's the 1st of November, a Friday evening, on the 3G pitch at KG5 Sports Center in Guernsey. This is Brandy Mitchell with San Diego Soccer Women. Thank you for tuning in. For more information, you can check in with our social media and online.